With the new year just around the corner, like it's so close, like I can see around the corner right now. Many of us get motivated to start a new workout routine, but we struggle with where to begin. So here to share some simple tips on how to do that is our fitness and wellness expert, Heather Wilson-Phillips is here. Nice to see nice you. Nice to see you too. Okay, so first up, you recommend investing in a good pair of shoes. How come? Yes, because there really is a difference between your everyday walking shoe compared to your training shoe. So your walking shoe is going to give you that flexibility you need, that support around the ball of your foot and their arch support. But then the training shoe is going to give you additional support as well, especially in and around the ankle and your heel. So if you're moving quickly forward, lateral and backwards, you have that additional support that you need. It doesn't have to be expensive either, it right? It doesn't have to be expensive either. Yes, okay. that's what's really important. All right, next up, you recommend starting off with some modified exercises. You've got some videos to show us what you mean. Yes. So modified exercises, especially if you haven't worked out in a very long time, there's no shame in starting off very slowly and then working your way up. So with some of the examples I have here, uh, we start off with a jumping jack. So a modified mm. jumping jack, as I'm doing right here, the hands are still coming okay. up over your head. My feet are still on the ground. Yeah, your feet are still on the ground and you're coming yes. out onto your heel. So there's no jumping involved here and you're still increasing your heart rate here. So this is a great example of how you can do a jumping jack at a modified level. Okay. All right. And then the next example that I'm showing is then going into a plank. Mm. So I'm still on my forearms here. I have the support from the mat and I'm on my knees. My back is still nice and flat and I'm really still engaging my core. So you're still going to get that benefit there. Even though your legs are not completely straight, you're still a nice and engaged. You've got your ankles there. That's okay. And I'm crossing in my ankles yeah. exactly for that additional support. Okay. And high knees? Yes. High knees. That's the last one. So the high knees, just driving your knees up in front of you. You don't have to be running here. You're still going to be increasing your heart rate, bringing your knees up to where you can and just simply marching in place. You know how I like to keep lists and notes and things about yes. my life and Excel spreadsheets. Uh, what about a journal when it comes to fitness? How important is that? Absolutely. So the fitness journal, this is where you can keep everything nice and organized. That's your fitness related for yourself. So whether you want to look at, you know, what are my exercises that I'm doing? Um, how is my strength improving? Um, my flexibility, my time when I'm doing my actual workouts. These are the type of things that you really want to be aware of and it's going to help you to stay more organized. And especially if you don't know how many days a week you want to work out, whether it's three days a week, mm -hmm. four days a week, five days a week, and the amount of time, it's really going to differ for each individual as well. Yeah, and oftentimes like the, if you've got a device like a watch like this or anything yes. else that can help you track, I'm Absolutely. somebody who really likes data. Yes. And so, <laughs> surprise, surprise. Yes. So to be able to see and some progression How there you're progressing like, yeah, is really exactly. important. Yeah, exactly. And that, that helps with the journaling as yes. well. So a lot of times people get bored if they're doing the same thing over and over again, mm -hmm. right? So how do we stay motivated? So one of the things I think is really important is to really plan ahead. Because when you have that plan in place, you're like, okay, this is what I'm going to be doing. But also don't be afraid to have some type of like activity that's thrown in that's out of the norm. So if you're planning ahead, like whether it be a week in advance or even the mm -hmm. day before, that's simply okay. okay. But have it all out in front of you. So one day you might be going for a walk, then the next day you might be doing strength training, and then you might want to throw in some like low impact exercises, whether that's bike riding or swimming or something high intensity where you're sprinting or doing some kind of burpee or something like that. You know, for me, it's one of those things where I'm speaking of motivation. I go, well, if I don't have an hour, then I mean, I just, you know what I mean? Like, Still I, get it I know I got to change the mindset to say yes. I can do like a 10 or 20, minutes 10 or 15, something. 20 minute. Absolutely. And yeah. you can also hire a professional, which will keep you accountable, right? Absolutely. Hiring a professional like myself or many professionals that are out there. It's really important, especially if you've been struggling for a long period of time, you're feeling lost. Even with you getting tips from friends and family and other people, you still feel like, okay, I don't know where to start. Mm -hmm. When you hire a professional, that's going to give you that structure that you need, the planning. They're going to put a plan in place for you that's going to help you to get to your goals even sooner. And how important is rest here? Rest is so important. So this is one of the things I think people overlook because they're really excited. They started a new program. They want to get everything in. Mm -hmm. But the rest is just as important because that's going to help you with your recovery and to prevent any injuries in the long run. Great tips as we head into 2023. Can you believe it? <gasps> Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too. All right. That's so good to see you. Nice to see you too. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.